Hey everyone, it's been a quite a while since I've done a minister's minute. Apologize for that, but I've been pretty busy between the church and uh, helping to get NAUA off the ground. So it's been a it's been a lot on my plate. But uh, it's Monday. It's my day off. I've actually taken it as a day off and started to uh, prep for the next project. But let me introduce you to somebody here real real quickly who I've mentioned has come into our lives. I'm going to reverse the camera here. Okay, this is Wiley. Wiley's a puppy. I have no idea how tall he is. He's, he's 28 inches at the shoulder. So he's a good boy. <laughs> he's like a cat. He sort of runs between your legs when you try to pet him. And there's Chester, the old guy. He's going on 14 now. And Wiley's just a pup. But anyway, one of the things I did earlier this summer was put this fence in. We weren't going to get any more dogs, and I was in the process of taking my fences down. But now we not only had to keep the fences, but have a bigger, more permanent fence for Wiley's sake. So this is uh, more of the, the post and dowel fence. The dogs are barking because uh, there's the water company's working on a leaking water main or something. Anyway, this is... Uh, a fence that I put in. You might wonder where I found the time to do this. I would just say one post at a time over a couple of months and finally got it done. And so it keeps the dogs out of the garden, which you can see is looking pretty good right now. This is the gate that I've created, which is pretty, pretty special. Uh, just a couple of kind of window dressings, if you will. Stay here, Wiley. Stay. Guys, okay, stay there. So, uh, yeah. That is kind of a decorative gate. And uh, the dogs don't seem to push their way out. I keep that rock there in case I need to put a little extra pressure on it. So, yeah, this is the garden. And this, this is Russian sage. And you just it's just always covered with bees. And this will stay purple all the way until winter. And there will be bees on it right up until it's too cold for them to be out anymore. So things are blooming. That's some sort of phlox that's growing over there. And uh, anyway, this is uh, still a work in progress, but there's obviously a lot growing in it and a lot more to do. So what I've done today is uh, track down some crushed gravel, which is what that pile is. I'm quite proud of it because I you, know, you can go get this by the bags at Lowe's or Home Depot, but it's seven, eight bucks for a small bag. And I'm going to need quite a lot of it. And there's a place up uh, up near the casino, not too far from the church or too far from my home, that uh, sells, uh, you know, concrete mixtures, the asphalt, that kind of stuff. And even though they're used to big trucks coming in, they allowed me to, to pick this load up and put it in buckets and put it in my car. And I made two loads to get this, so... I'm quite proud of it because I did all the work myself getting it here. 45 bucks. Not bad at all. So this is uh, the part of the house that's still sort of an, an eyesore as far as the renovations go. And my next step, you know, I will be taking this cross ties down and replacing it with a stone retainer wall. But right here, I'm going to put steps. That's what the the gravel is for to secure the stone steps so that they can sort of go up go up from the road here or from the sidewalk and lead to a trail that I'll put in up there a pathway and they will continue on around the house to, to that which is now the front door so and probably break some of this asphalt out and cut this area down in about half and give myself a little more room over here for trash cans and whatnot and there's the decorative fence I put in last year took down the chain link and just didn't want anybody to fall off the ledge here so put that in and now it is a uh, you know full-fledged ranch looking yard I tell my neighbor next door I don't ever want to hear him complaining about my cattle crossing over to his land again because now I have the fence to prevent that and let's see oh yeah this is a nice little token I've been waiting for this to go on clearance it's a metal welcome sign, and I'm going to hang this right here. Let me set it down, and I'll 
I'll back off and show you what it looks like. All right, Wiley. It's, so that's a welcome to the the Eckloff homestead here, the Eckloff ranch, if you will. And there's a big cattle, big cow right there, aren't you, Wiley? What is that? Who are those guys? Those are just those are just pretend. They're not real. <laughs> He's afraid of inanimate, inanimate objects. Today he was barking at a coffee filter. Hey, Chester, what are you doing? So anyway, let's see. I know this has taken a while, but what the heck? It's been a while, so. Uh, walking you through the yard. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? He's a sweet dog, I tell you. All right. So this is uh, the pile of stones that will end up making the the steps and so they will go up several feet you see they have kind of a, a rough cut face so it'll look nice and then they'll be flat on top for people to walk on so yeah that's my my next goal but I, I needed to have the gravel here before I could really work on that and uh, Wiley has been making mincemeat of the dog's part of the yard. He turns out he's a digger, so that is uh, what he's been doing to this little lawn I put in. But, you know, I put it in for the dogs to have something soft to walk on, so if they destroy it, it's not too bad. And uh, this is the the grape, the new, the, the new and improved <laughs> grape trellis here. So uh, we'll be getting some grapes on this. Hopefully they'll start to grow up a bit more, but you can see it's already loaded with conquered grapes. This one's starting to turn already. It's a little, little purple there. So another, another couple of months, these things will be so sweet and it'll just be loaded with them. So if you want grapes, come over and get some. We can't possibly, I have five or six a year, I think, and that's it, but it's always loaded. Okay, so that is what I've been up to. I don't have any uh, brilliant insights for you today. But if you see a puppy in the road, rescue it. It will make life better for all of us. <laughs>